the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max, which were released in the fall of 2022, now have a 48 megapixel sensor on the main 1X camera. Despite that, by default, the camera will still output a 12 megapixel image. To take advantage of the full resolution of the camera, we need to shoot RAW and set that resolution in camera app settings. So on an iPhone 14 Pro or a future model that has the 48 megapixel sensor, we can go into camera settings and there is now a resolution option available when Pro RAW is activated. We can use the traditional 12 megapixel resolution or now 48. Below we can see that the file size of the 48 megapixel images are going to be very large. I found that they're usually more than 75 megabytes. With 12 megapixels checked here, when I tap on the RAW option in the camera, it will only output a 12 megapixel RAW file. In pixels that will be 4032 by 3024. Set Pro RAW to shoot at the full 48 megapixel resolution and the camera will output a 8064 by 6048 RAW file. I'm going to take three shots of the same scene. One will be a standard 12 megapixel image saved as the high efficiency image file type. Next, I'll set the Pro RAW resolution to 12 megapixels. Then in the camera app, shoot the same scene at that setting. Then change one more time to Pro RAW with the resolution at 48 megapixels. Now let's jump into the Photos app and review those images. I'll tap the Info button to show the resolution and details of each shot. This first one is the 12 megapixel high efficiency live photo. Swipe over and the next is the 12 megapixel RAW file. Notice it's almost 10 times the file size of the high efficiency shot. Finally we have the 48 megapixel RAW image which comes in at just under 100 megabytes. When reviewing the photos, they all will look the same when zoomed out. To compare the details side by side, let's open all three on the Mac. I'm going to zoom in six times on each image. Even zoomed in this much, there's still not a striking difference in quality. But looking close, it's definitely there. The resolution of both 12 megapixel images is about the same. The advantage with the raw image will be when adjusting the colors or brightness in the image because there's more information there to work with. The 48 megapixel raw image is clearly more crisp and shows more details. But when would this actually make a difference in real world usage? It certainly will if the photo is printed, especially at a size larger than say 8x10. And it will also look better on high resolution displays or larger 4K or better TVs. At some point, 8K TVs and displays will be the norm, and these 48 megapixel images will look best on them. Here's another comparison of 12 and 48 megapixel images, this time of a cityscape. When zoomed in on the buildings, 48 megapixel image shows quite a bit more detail. I will typically only shoot in 48 megapixel raw mode when I'm taking a photo that I know might be printed or displayed down the line. When taking normal snapshots, I stick with the 12 megapixel high efficiency image option, which outputs a very high quality image that is also a live photo. Remember, Pro RAW shots are single still images only.